dear students welcome to our second lecture part 2 and i said in part 2 i will show you integrating products of sines and cosines and integrating products of sec and ten. So, let me show you first uh, how can we integrate product of sines and cosines. So, you see for m n are positive integers if we consider this integral uh, how can we integrate it? It depends on the power of sin x and power of cos x. So, you see this table shows that if n is odd means cos to the power is odd, then you need to split off a factor of cos x. So, this is split off a factor of cos x, then use uh, this trigonometric identity for the square x equal to 1 minus sin square x. And again sin to the power m, if m is odd or sin power is odd, then you need to split off a factor of sin x. And when both of them are even, m even or n even, then you do not need to do anything, just use uh, this trigonometric identities 2 sin square x equal 1 minus cos 2x and we know cos uh, 2 cos square x equal to 1 plus cos 2x. So, um, let us try example 1, um, sin to the power 4x cos to the power 5x. So, I said if power of uh, let me uh, say it again, if power of cos x is odd, you need to take cos x, if power of sin is odd, you need to take sin x, if both of them are even, you do not need to do anything. So, let us try example 1, you see here cos to the power 5, so 5 is an odd number, therefore you need to take cos x, so sin 4x cos 4x into cos x dx, cos square equal 1 minus sin square x whole square cos x dx. Now, we can use method of substitution, let us say sin x equal z, therefore cos x dx equal dz. So, we can write z to the power 4 into 1 minus z square whole square dz, which is equal z to the power 4 1 minus 2 z square plus z to the power 4 dz, which is equal z to the power 4 minus 2 z to the power 6 plus z to the power 8 dz. So, integration of z to the power 4 equal z to the power 5 by 5 minus 2 into z to the power 7 by 7 plus z to the power 9 by 9 plus c, which is equal, now we can put the value of z, sin to the power 5x by 5 minus 2 by 7 sin to the power 7x plus 1 by 9 and to the power 9x plus c. So, this is the answer and now let us try the other one. If sin to the power uh, is 4 and cos again 4, then how can we integrate it? And in the table I said if if uh, m and n both are even, you do not need to do anything, just use trigonometric identities 2 sin square x equal 1 minus cos 2x and 2 cos square x equal 1 plus cos 2x. So, let us try to use this one and we can write here sin square x whole square into cos square x whole square dx. So, sin square x equal half 1 minus cos 2x, half 1 minus cos 2x whole square into 
for the square x equal half into 1 plus cos 2x. So, half into 1 plus cos 2x whole square dx. And now you see you have 1 by 4 here and another 1 by 4 here. So, if you multiply it will be 1 by 16 integration of 1 minus cos x into 1 plus cos x. So, a plus b into a minus b equal a square minus b square. We can write 1 minus cos square 2 x whole square dx. So, which is equal 1 by 16, 1 minus cos square equal sin square. So, sin square 2 x to the power 2 means sin to the power 4 dx. Now, let us substitute uh, this 2 x by another variable because we cannot use reduction formula here. So, we need to make the coefficient of x 1. So, let us consider again uh, 2 x equal z. Therefore, 2 dx equal dz. So, dx equal dz by 2. So, so this integral becomes 1 by 16 sin 4 z into dz by 2, which is equal 1 by 32 sin 4 z dz. Now, you can use reduction formula or you can use this formula. There is another formula. In order to get this formula, you first need to use reduction formula. Then by using appropriate trigonometric identities, you can reach here. So, let us use this formula here, which is equal 1 by 32 and sin 4 x dx equal 3 by 8 x. So, here uh, I should write 3 by 8 z minus 1 by 4 sin 2 z plus 1 by 32 sin 4 z plus c, which is equal 3 by 256 z minus 1 by 4 into 32. So, 8 into 120 sin 2z plus 1 by 32 into 32, which is 1024 sin 4z plus c. Now, let us substitute z by 2x, 256 2x. So, I should write. Um, 6 by 256x minus 128 um, sin 4x because that equal to 2x. So, sin 4x plus 1 by 1024 sin 8x plus c by 2 it will be 2 by 128. So, the answer will be 3 by 128 x minus 1 by 128 sin 4 x plus 1 by 1024 sin 8 x plus c. So, this is the answer. So, let us have a look on this book. Uh, you see, we already had example 2. And to solve example 3, you need to use uh, this formula and we know 2 sin alpha cos beta equals sin alpha minus beta plus sin alpha plus beta. And there are other two formula. By using this formula, you can easily evaluate example 3 or uh, similar types of uh, problems. So, let us try to understand integrating powers of tangent and second. And we already know formula 19 and 20. 
reduction formula for 10x and reduction formula for sec x and here formula 21 and 22 uh, you can use as a formula because uh, here n equal to 1 so if n equal to 2 by using reduction formula you can prove formula 23 and 24 if n equal to 3 you can prove uh, formula 25 and 26 and in this uh, lecture I want to show you integrating products of tangents and seconds and in uh, for you see if n m n are positive integers then to evaluate this integral you need to follow this table here you see if n is even it means if sec to the power n sec, sec to the power is an even number then you need to split off sec square x and then use uh, trigonometric identity sec square x equal 1 plus 10 square and if m is odd then you need to uh, split off a factor of sec x 10 x however if m is even and n is odd it means if 10 to the power is even and sec to the power is odd then you don't need to do anything you just need to use um, this trigonometric identity which is 10 square x is 1 sec square x minus 1 so let's try to understand example 4 you see in this example uh, your sec to the power is 4 and 10 to the power is 2 so from the first column in this table we see if n is even means sec to the power is even we just need to split off sec square x so from here if i split off sec square x i have remaining sec square x so sec square x into sec square x times 10 square x dx which is equal 10 square x equal 10 square x and sec square x we just need, need to replace sec square x which is 10 square x plus 1 and then use method of substitution if you consider 10x equal u then you will get sec square x dx equal du so in this in that case your integral becomes u square into u square plus 1 du which is equal u to the power 4 plus u square and the integration will be u to the power 5 by 5 plus u to the power 3 by 3 plus c now you can substitute uh, the u you considered for 10x so the answer will be this and for the second one m is odd m odd means 10 to the power is odd so if 10 to the power is odd then you need to split off sec x 10x so let's see if you split off sec x 10x you have 10 square x now 10 square x equals sec square x minus 1 so you just replace this 10 square sec square x by u then you will get sec x 10x dx equal du so you can also easily evaluate this one and if m is even n is odd then you just need to use trigonometric identity equation of sec x now for the for the first integral you can use uh, reduction formula and we already evaluated in our first part of lecture 2 in the previous i mean in the previous video and we, we know integration of sec x equal long absolute value of sec x plus 10x so this is the answer and you can try some homework uh, for our lecture 2 integrating trigonometric functions uh, from the textbook section 7.3 from 1 to you can try 1 to 14 and 29 29 to 42 so Thank you very much and that's the end of this lecture.
hope you enjoy my lecture and please stay with us for the third lecture